Hey, welcome to this next part of the speedrun tutorial. So, in underground level, if you have managed uh, Pink Desert so far, it's actually just more of the same. But uh, on top of it, we have a few places that are uh, quite uh, tricky, and we'll focus on uh, those. So, uh, to start off, uh, when you enter uh, underground, you can already be holding jump to prepare to do one jump, then a second jump, and land here. But the landing is very tricky here. Always be very focused when uh, you land for the drop shoot because the timing has to be perfect. You actually land a, a very slightly downhill, which is why it is so hard to stick to the ground. So if you have troubles uh, sticking to the ground immediately, instead of jump, holding jump when you enter uh, UG, you can instead do uh, a few steps, like you walk forward while uh, the camera is aiming down slowly, and after doing a few steps, you can start your jump, do a second one, and starting the dive a bit further away will be much easier. So here I would do a few steps, like this, and then I start jumping, do a second jump over the white light, land and start flicking. So you can go a little to the right in there to end up a bit higher, it will make the boost more easier. Then you can start a new dive, do a jump in the air, and try to land in there. So you see here there is a the ground is a bit doing a bump where there is a, this light in there. So ideally you would land here it's flat and there too. I would advise you try to land in there or you can even land uh, before the light if you have a steep enough camera angle and uh, you can drop shoot in there without a problem. Or I guess you could also land a bit on the right of the tunnel instead uh, whatever. So when you'll do this drop shoot here, uh, try to stay away from this little stone in there, so you stay on the left of it, or <laughs> it will mess up your drop shoot. And then you flick, so the flicking isn't too hard in there. Your G level is very straightforward, so if you move only in a straight line, you will end up in the calp room uh, without a problem. So to show you an example, you walk, you jump, you do your second jump there, you start the drop shoot and start flicking. So don't go too much to the right either, or um, the camera will flatten very easily. Then you can land before the light or after if, if you had a good boost. Mine was a bit weak, so I didn't risk it. And you flick and you arrive to the calp room, just like that. So um, when you arrive in the calp room, the camera will uh, zoom out and it will also flatten a little. Uh, it can actually weaken your boost a little bit, but it's fine. So what you should do is when you arrive at the ledge in there, you immediately start pushing the camera fully down, and at the same time you press and you hold the jump button down, and you won't release it until you boost. So let's do this, my drop shoot here, I'm flicking, and then I push camera down, hold jump. And you can do many big chirps like this. And when you arrive here, at the edge, you want to let go of the camera stick. Because if you keep on pushing the camera stick in there, the camera will start to flatten because there is a, some uh, a floor under under you. But uh, so I would suggest when you arrive near the, like this uh, tunnel here, it's time to let go of the camera stick and start flicking instead. The camera effect uh, happens only once, so if you want to practice uh, this room again in the same conditions, you'll have to restart the level, uh, because otherwise your camera won't flatten as it uh, zooms out, and uh, because of it you will lose altitude more quickly in the kelp room if you hold the camera down. So there I restarted the level, land behind the light this time, I do my flicking, not too hard, it's okay. Push the camera down, keeping on a holding jump, doing a few big chops, and now I flick. And you can boost, like here, if you want. Even catching the little symbol in there, wow, okay. <laughs> you get some style points uh, for this too. So, <laughs> um, you have several options in here. Either, in theory, you could actually boost from uh, the entrance just before hitting this ledge. You could boost in the middle of it, or you could boost uh, behind it. So I want you. I want to warn you, if you boost, tend to boost uh, at the end of it, uh, this can happen. Uh, basically, what you see there is uh, when you aim the camera up, it hits uh, the end of the platform and it prevents you from aiming the camera fully up. 
and uh, the camera gets stuck like this. Uh, this happens whenever you boost with a platform behind you and uh, there is a risk of it here. So you want, when this happens it means you should instead start the boost a little earlier or actually further uh, away. Personally I would recommend you boost like in the middle of the platform in here, it's uh, way enough. I restarted the level again to get uh, the camera angle, uh, the camera zooming out effect. So here I'm flicking. Then I push camera down and I do two big chirps. You can do more if you're uh, not sure. You start flicking when you arrive at the tunnels and then you boost uh, in the middle of the platform, moving the camera around to try to aim for the symbol and then starting a dive in there. And you can start jumping a few times. You got three jumps with the symbols and next drop shoot. But this trick here in the the kelp room uh, and uh, then uh, jellyfish room isn't uh, very easy, you'll have to practice uh, it a bit until you get it. Uh, which is why I recommend you learn a backup. So with the flyers in this room, you can do uh, flyer boosting in circles, like this. So I recommend you learn this, this way you can charge for a few seconds, as much as you want to actually, and when you're ready, you can go for the kelp room and do the boost, just like this. You can actually still take the symbol in there, if it's here there, and start the dive easily. So to do this uh, flyer boosting thing, so you would be pushing the camera uh, down continuously, and you would hold it at an angle, like slightly left or slightly right. So I got inverted controller, yours would be pushed uh, like this, or like this. Um, you hold the left stick fully forward and yeah, you turn with the camera. So you are holding the jump button down continuously, doing big chirps continuously. And just like that you charge energy. And when you're ready, you start boosting in there, like so. It's not too hard, so yeah, spend a bit of time practicing it, it's worth it. Uh, if you are speedrunning scarfless, you do not want to take the jellyfish symbol. So in this case, uh, there is another strat which consists of uh, starting the boost a little later. So assuming you went uh, in there with the camera fully down like this, you would hold jump and boost only here. So you start aiming the camera up after you've gone past the end of the platform. Up until this point you are holding jump continuously by the way, and you are uh, flicking over the platform. And when you go over there is when you flatten the camera angle. Then the idea would be to aim directly for the door on the other side. And you try to gently touch uh, the kelp uh, and the jellyfish on the side to recharge your scarf during the boost. So I'll show you the scarfless route now. So here you flick like usual. Push camera down, you release the jump button, a second big chirp, chirp sorry not jump, you, f you flick and there you boost and you try to recharge by touching the banners. So camera is quite flat and then you start a dive. So if you want you can do a little drop shoot on this platform but uh, there, uh, if you don't stick you will empty your scarf and uh, as a reminder you only have three jumps when scarfless. So. It's a bit risky, or you can boost over the platform if you have enough boost. And start a drop shoot. So this next drop shoot, just like the very first one, is a bit tricky. The ground is completely flat, so be very focused when you land. Uh, you can try to land on these uh, little platforms, but when you when you will walk off them here, uh, sometimes the character will uh, stumble and you can lose contact with uh, the ground. So I would actually recommend you land on the right of them or a little behind them. Try to land with an intermediate uh, camera angle. Doesn't have to be fully down uh, nor too flat. So like this, you land and you flick until here. And when you are arrive uh, uh, near the war machine head is when you will be boosting. The idea is to avoid uh, doing a kiss to the war machine. <laughs> so you go on the right of it. Uh, if your camera is uh, flat, it's easy to aim, but when it aims fully down in there, uh, you can get lost, so uh, good luck. Uh, before landing, have a precise look at where you are positioned, right or left, and try to keep a straight line to know where you're uh, headed. So uh, this drop shoot, the one we done, we've done just before, um, 
if you mess up the timing for the jump, when you land, the character will bounce. Uh, and like we have explained several times before, you can try to save it by pressing jump again a second time when doing another contact with the ground. For example, uh, during my AGDQ speedrun, I didn't manage to stick the landing immediately in there. I did a bounce, so I can show you it. And I had to save it, just like that. So the drop shoot could look like this. You land, you flick, and there you aim the camera up near the war machine and you gain some height and you can start a new dive. So for the new dive, uh, you... <laughs> That's another thing, you always want uh, to arrive here before Frederick uh, gets eaten. So try to not mess up your drop shoots uh, uh, after the jellyfish room. You can boost over the war machine actually, or on the right or the left of it, uh, it doesn't matter. You can actually start the drop shoot before it, but uh, you can also uh, behind. So in there, uh, this corridor is a bit of a trouble, because whenever you arrive in there, the camera uh, likes to, flat, to flatten to show you the war machine uh, going behind this window. Always feel it very hard in this corridor. It's uh, just like the ending dune of Pink Desert level. It's one of those places you'll have to flick uh, a bit crazily to keep the camera angle uh, nicely and charge a good boost. So, like this, a bit crazy. Then, to turn in this corridor, uh, ideally you push the camera sideways to go in there and then on the other side. But you can help it a tiny bit with the left stick, like instead of having the left stick fully forward, you can have a bit slightly right and slightly left. But uh, I want you to be aware, it can reduce uh, your, uh, your charge a little bit, okay? Okay, so let's show you the corridor. I would land like, I don't know, in here maybe. Start flicking, and then I turn my camera sideways, and the other side, and then I boost. So you can start the boost before even you get out of this window. Or just after getting out of it, it's fine. So you do a little boost and then the idea is to aim for the flyers. Um, if you managed to keep a very good camera angle during the corridor and then a nice boost, you can actually go for the window, which is ahead. So basically after you chirp the flyers, you have the camera fully up and you can dive again uh, early. But uh, most of the time, uh, especially if you're a beginner, <laughs> the boost will be weak. So it's way easier to go left of the window so after you do your chirp you go uh, to the left of it like this and then you boost damn UG isn't easy to explain because uh, flyers disappear so in here to show you again all this part I will land in there I flick hard do my boost okay I did a kiss to the war machine this is what you want to avoid then you start your dive and you land in there, and you start flicking very hard. Then you turn the camera sideways. The other side, you can help a bit with the left stick. Boost, dive again. You chirp the flyers. You hold jump if you want, or you just let yourself get carried by them. And then you jump when they start stop lifting you up. And uh, from here, you have two options. Uh, again, you can go right or left. Most runners would go through this window, boosting up, and then go for the symbol. So after boosting through the window, you would start a new dive. And to get the symbol, you do it like this. So <laughs> it's uh, something I explained uh, a bit quickly in Pink Desert for the taking the first symbol. The idea is not, uh, let's assume the window is uh, in there. <laughs> the idea is not to aim directly for the window uh, like this, but you aim uh, before it. And uh, you see the, the bot, uh, since uh, the symbol is behind in here at the bottom, you want to be very close to the bottom of the little window. So for this you aim before it, and when you are perfectly at the correct height, is when you press and hold jump, this way you will travel completely forward without losing or gaining any height, and you will get it immediately. So you aim at the bottom around here, and when you arrive there is when you hold jump like this and you take it like I did. So after the flyers, if you if you boost to the right of the window instead of in the window, the big one, you can drop shoot in there, like this. Uh, this is more the scarfless route, and then you can boost the right in there. If you are not scarfless, you will just be holding jump continuously after catching the symbol, and you will boost in there, just like uh, if you did the drop shoot uh, in the middle. 
so showing again uh, the route after the Z corridor. We do your boost in there, a little time. You go left of the window because it's easier. You don't have to hold jump, but you can. And then you do a little boost. Oh, sure, I'm going for the scarfless route, it seems. <laughs> I didn't think of it. And do a little boost if you want, another dive. And you try to boost in there. So the idea is uh, to flatten the camera as soon as you go through the last uh, big gate. This way you boost until the moment you hit uh, the section of the slide where uh, you get uh, attracted to the end of it. And in there the idea is to let go of a big chirp because uh, when the, the war machine crash against the barrier you won't be able to jump or chirp for a few seconds. So when you see we'll arrive at the bottom of the tombstones around there, the idea is to do a jump and you press jump and you don't let go of it. You let the jump button release itself uh, to do a very big chirp and uh, try to catch uh, all the tombstones. So then when you land you move only forward so you try to align yourself with the statue because it's easy to get lost due to how far away the camera is so when you let go of your chirp you move forward and uh, that's it you hold forward until you enter the light so however if you chirped a bit late there's a possibility you walk uh, past the light and you arrive in there because of it sometimes i hold forward like this and after a little time i do back forward again Ju just in case i got past the light circle and uh, because you can get stuck between the statue and the circle and if you do back like this you enter it immediately so but yeah try to never go left or right of it and also you saw during the slide i was jumping but it's actually faster to jump uh, than to just slide and the best timing i find is to jump and when you land you slide for like a full second and then you jump again uh, because anytime you you land it gives you speed and you lose a bit when you jump again but when you land again at second time you gain more speed so yeah for the ending drop shoot you hold jump you hold jump a second time and you just start a drop shoot and you arrive in UG it's uh, quite easy so let's try the window strat uh, this time so the idea would be to land with the camera fully down like this and you flick really hard like this nice and then you your little boost dive again and camera fully up and then down again then you can uh, charge so th now you can do a little boost over the war machine or under it both are fine and then you hold jump when you're ahead of the symbol so this time we go on the right window of the symbol while we would go on the left window if we were to go for uh, the next the other strat i showed uh, before so now for the ones who want to optimize uh, this whole level uh, a bit uh, more uh, i will get to this now so right away you start holding jump instead of doing a few steps <laughs> um, so you do one jump second one and you just focus on uh, nailing the timing right and then you can actually flatten the camera a little bit but don't flatten it immediately or you will lose footing with the ground like wait for the wafer to do one or one and a half full uh, jumping animations because before you gently flatten it uh, a little bit not too much because you still want to get some sort of boost and then you want to land uh, behind these little rocks so you you do your dive with a flat camera angle and uh, you can use one jump in the air to land uh, further uh, behind and it actually helps. So then you do your drop shoot here with a camera angle that is uh, quite flat. Uh, you will uh, get a much better boost after you reach the kelp room so for this part uh, it's okay to keep it uh, rather flat. Something like this is uh, completely nice. Then camera down, do your two build chirps and you flatten again the camera a tiny bit, almost nothing. <laughs> you can go for the symbol in there and you hold jump when you catch it to start the dive immediately try to keep the camera very flat then again you can use a very flat camera angle here well not very but intermediate not not too vertical here you try to boost uh, quite flat you don't want to gain a lot of height and for this drop shoot you keep your camera quite flat again for a long time we thought going through the big window after the flyers was faster but Texa showed me it's actually faster here to drop shoot with a flat camera angle because you, you go so much fa more faster and when you get out a little boost you do your chirp early 
Here, if you do your chirp early, the flyers, you won't get slowed down when chirping the flyers. Uh, <laughs> Alright. I was about to get to do that. <laughs> didn't have time uh, to tell it all. So uh, when you drop the flyers, uh, you may have noticed uh, the moment uh, you drop them, you get a sort of slowdown in the air for half a second. And uh, But if you let go of the drop button really in advance, uh, you won't be slowed down at all. So yeah, try to release the jump button early. And uh, as soon as you chirp, you start turning the camera left to go uh, next to the pillar and then right again. So this statue here, the one that wakes up, is uh, terrible because uh, it will uh, it will mess you up. You see this little work in there? You can use it as a visual cue to know how far left or right you can position yourself. <laughs> God damn it. And uh, usually I go right at the rock, completely forward towards the rock. Okay, I guess I need to restart the level now. <laughs> then you let go of chirp early here. So not, oh, I, it was too late there. Then you go on the left of the, towards the little to stone in there. Do a little boost, little drop shoot here. And then you can catch the symbol like this. Actually, that's how I do it, but you can see it's, it's a bit uh, tricky. It's <laughs> um, I haven't practiced uh, this strat much yet, but uh, I believe you can gain like a full second with it, uh, uh, with enough practice. So I will have to practice it some more uh, to adjust it, but uh, yeah, you can see it's faster. So here you move just forward, and if you were worried, you, you can move also left stick back like I showed before. Okay, let's show a full level uh, optimized uh, the best I can. Holding jump. Second jump. I time precisely the jump. Then I flatten a little bit, like this. I boost here. Little dive. I got slowed down a tiny bit, it's fine. Holding jump there. Flat camera angle. It's okay, I reach the maximum boost. I don't care. Push the camera more down in there and flatten a tiny bit, and I boost on the edge, here. See, I got still enough to catch the symbol, so this is why I don't care if my camera is a little flat for the drop shoot before the calp room. Then I land up, and I boost at the bottom of this little dune to not get slowed down. Then a little dive, land with a quite a flat camera angle, try to flick hard, like usual, it's important. And you boost. Dive again, release chirp early. Ah, it wasn't early again. Damn it. Little boost, drop shoot. Go left, jump, catch symbol, push camera down. And then you boost in there, fully flat. You land, you slide for a second, jump. You slide for a second, jump. And now you start pressing chirp and you let go of chirp in there. And you hold forward, back if you were afraid you went past the, tombs, the light circle. And uh, yeah, that's it, uh, more or less. So after the history lesson, uh, when you will try to land for the drop shoot, you can actually start pressing the jump button down a little in advance, like before making contact with the ground. This way you will waste a jump uh, in the air and then you will stick to the ground, but you will start the drop shoot earlier. I will try it. So here I press jump now. And it's faster. But if you are scarfless, uh, this won't work. And you will have instead to, time to start the drop shoot the exact moment you land. This is the last optimization. And uh, now uh, I'll see you in the Sunken City level. See ya.